Greetings, everyone. This is First and Twenty Seven Fifty Three with another episode of Political Machine Two Thousand Twelve. And in this episode, we're going to be playing as Ronald Reagan. Uh, this is the 2012 version. We're playing for the 2012 election. And uh, in this version, uh, you are able to get some famous presidents from history, uh, like Richard Nixon. Um, let's see who else we got here. John F. Kennedy. Uh, George Washington. Bill Clinton, Al Gore, Al Abraham Lincoln. Uh, as you play the campaign mode, you unlock different uh, candidates. And um, even Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt. Thomas Jefferson, I don't know why they have him as a Democrat. Um, Christian nation, that's negative. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. He was a deist. Um, but I don't know why he was officially a Republican, but... How about more conservatives? I don't know why they label him a Democrat. Uh, but anyways, um, a lot of different candidates here, and uh, just wanted to mention if you guys have any ideas for any episodes you want me to do in the future, different candidates you want me to play as, then uh, feel free to post a comment in the comments below. Um, but for this one, we're doing Ronald Reagan. We're going to go up against Hillary Clinton. Let's take a look at Ronald Reagan real quick. His characteristics, uh, a lot of charisma with this guy, very popular presidential candidate, our uh, president. He was president for uh, two terms in the 1980s. Uh, experience gives us an advantage with uh, capital. Uh, intelligence should do well in interviews. We can get some fashion consultants or PR consultants to help out with that. Decent amount of money, fundraising ability. He's a pretty good candidate. Um, big issues are missile defense and tax cuts. Those are Reagan's big issues. I think we could also probably campaign on other conservative issues, including a strong military. Probably, I don't want to do too much on deficit reduction because he did actually spend a lot of money, but uh, definitely tough on foreign policy, so we can tough in foreign policy issues. Um, anything that sort of deregulates the government or gets the government less involved, we'll probably campaign on. Again, this past week, or last week, his wife, Nancy Reagan, passed away, so kind of doing this in honor of her. Uh, as a first lady, she was popular, very popular with the people. She started the Just No to Drugs campaign, and... Uh, also an actress before that, uh, and we're going up against another former first lady, and that is Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, in the 2012 version, is not as tough as she is in 2016. Not a lot of charisma. Um, and not a lot of experience. Which again makes me think I should be able to win more endorsements, but I've had problems with that in the past, assuming I can win more endorsements and actually not getting the endorsements. I think I lost the Tea Party endorsement last time to, to Clinton, which is ridiculous. Um, highly intelligent. She'll do well with the interviews. And... Not very religious. As far as the issues concerned, uh, the environment... Reagan was not very concerned with the environment, but supporting Israel, I think that's something that we could probably campaign on as Reagan, and maybe even steal that issue from her. Obamacare, I'll probably campaign against. War on terror, uh, that sounds like another thing that Reagan can campaign against. Uh, I think he would be strong on the war on terror. So, let's start. Clinton versus Reagan, 2012. And the presidential journey begins. And the big advantage for Reagan, as a Republican, is that he is from California. He's got a huge California support, a lot of support in California. She just built the headquarters out there. What is that? Outreach Center. And going after Texas. Democrats always go after Texas for some reason. They're not going to win. <coughs> Excuse me, they're not going to win Texas. All right, I'm going to beef up my headquarters here in California. And we're going to go after the big swing states. Let's hit Ohio first. Ohio's a big swing state. We're going to build an outreach center there to build up our 
clout. And the good thing about the 2012 version is that you can actually go in and look at the endorsements ahead of time. So a lot of these endorsements are actually not endorsements that would support Reagan. I don't think. Uh, I think maybe not even in the unions. I think he like stood up to the unions against the airplanes. I want to say. Um, I don't think he would. I don't think I want these issues. Definitely not the environment. The one thing about unions is uh, I think he might be opposed to outsourcing jobs. So I think I am going to maybe try to steal that endorsement from the Democrats and then uh, after I steal that, I'll go after my own things. Okay, let's swing down and pay a visit in North Carolina, because that's a little bit close, too close for comfort. Raise awareness, swing people our way, and then let's end up in Florida. We'll turn the Florida vote in our direction. We'll build a headquarters here next one. Ooh, interview in Ohio. Okay. She's on the ground building... Whoa. Going after California big time. Really trying to take California. And an interview for Clinton went well. And in the polls, she's now leading, and in the Electoral College. So we're going to have to take action here. Big issue, Obamacare. Which I'm actually winning on. Tax cuts, that's another issue for me. I'm winning on that. Reducing unemployment, she's winning, but I think I can campaign on that one. Deficit reduction, I can probably campaign on that. Or I can say that she's opposed to deficit reduction, because she's a Democrat who wants to spend a lot of money. Auto bailouts, Clinton's winning that one. Bank bailouts, 50-50. Government builds business. I think I would be opposed to that. Firing Big Bird, that has to do with PBS. And Fast and Furious... This has to do with crime and drugs. And I think it's a big issue for Reagan. I think I can use that issue in the border states and in California. Alright. First, we're going to go after another campaign headquarters here. I am going to want to drop a consulting office. Let's swing back up to North Carolina. I can't believe we're losing North Carolina. Let's put a consulting office here. That'll identify more issues for us to campaign on in North Carolina. And let's end up... I want to end up in Ohio, but first let's pay a visit to Virginia. And now we'll end up in Ohio, and we'll do the interview on the O'Malley scenario. <coughs> this is a show with a broad audience. The questions are not as difficult as nighttime, but are more direct. O'Malley will ask questions that folks are interested in learning about. Beware of giving vague answers to any of these questions. He's likely to call you on avoiding answers, which will damage your candidate's credibility rating. If your campaign is interested in providing honest answers, you, and you are comfortable with answering all the questions, frankly, make sure you accept the O'Malley invitation. Okay, here we go. There is Mr. O'Malley. Bill O'Malley, ha, 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 What can patriots here do to fight for freedom at home? And what? Okay, Occupy Wall Street, nuts. Really grind my goat. But, or they need to quit their whining, am I right? I will agree with you on this, I believe. You're wrong. Filthy hippies, absolutely they're criminals. These people want everything handed to them. Worse yet, they often are participating in criminal behavior to get their way. Yep, that sounds like Reagan. Traditionalists in this country are under siege by the secular agenda. This is working out well for me. Uh, you have the ACLU and other organizations running around the country suing local communities that defy them. As president, what are you going to do about that kind of thing? I tend to side with traditionalists. All right. You're one step closer to being a perfect patriot if you watch here. This should be good. 
All right, Reagan rallies the base and impresses people. Very good. That ended up working out well. All right. I'm going to head out to California next turn, beef up that headquarters there, and then put some outreach centers in different places around the country. Missouri's got 10 votes. I like that state. She's got Arkansas, because that's where her husband was governor. Southern states should be mine. Tennessee and Virginia and Kentucky. I should try to lock in these states here. Georgia and North Carolina. That's crazy. What about Pennsylvania? I should try to take Pennsylvania, too. Alright, let's swing in Pennsylvania. She's advertising in New York, but just ground game advertising. No national advertising. Outreach Center here in PA. Let's fly out to California. Completely upgrade this headquarters, which gives us a political consultant that I am going to keep here in California for now. And I think I'm going to go back into Ohio. And next turn, I'm going to upgrade that center as well. I'm making about a hundred per turn. Taking California is like huge. That really disrupts the Electoral College for the Democrats. So many votes out there. 55 electoral votes. That should be Democrat swinging in our way. Let's upgrade this outreach center. That'll really give us the advantage in clout. I am going to swing into Virginia. Let's build a consulting office. Nah, I'll build another outreach center. <clears throat> That's five. What does she have here? This is her campaign headquarters. And she's got an operative. Here, she's getting three clout per week. We're getting five. Should be able to outdo her on the endorsements. I gotta swing into a state. That's close. Let's swing into Tennessee. And then let's see if we can take advantage of this opportunity out here in Alaska. Scandal monger lowers your opponent's integrity in the, by half in the target state. Can I move him? I can't even see him. He's right behind the. All right, next turn. Interviews. That's Texas. She's really going after Texas here. Let's pull into Texas. Ah! Hey, what happened? I thought I was going to get that scandal monitor. That must be... What happened there? That might be a glitch in the game. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and win my own endorsements and not worry about her. I'm going to focus on political capital, upgrading the consulting office. There we go. Two turns. Let's swing into Kentucky. Sway those states. And stop by in Wisconsin. Iowa, just a little touring here. And Wyoming for the interview. A Valley scenario. Yeah, that worked out well last time. Should work out well again this time. Mally gives a good interview. Oh, you know what I should get? I should get that interview. 
consultant. All right, uh, the president's going to have to deal with illegal immigration. If you are the president, are you going to crack down on sanctuary cities? We will end sanctuary cities. Yeah, I'll say yes to that. Whoa! Millions of illegals in the United States already with pouring in all the time. Uh, reinforced border. I think this is what Reagan would campaign on. It's a huge deal. If it were me, I'd get the military down there. I guess I agree with that. Military shouldn't be involved in the border. I'd rather get the border. As a last resort, I might favor that. Okay. Let's see how that did. Oh, no, that didn't work out well. Alright, we're killing it in the Electoral College. But I don't think I did that well in that interview. I'm out of stamina. I need... What is that? Reagan falling behind in early polls. Oh, no. How is she getting all of these endorsements? Two sixty-five. Crushing it in California. Big fundraiser. Texas. Let's swing into Texas. I'm going to build a headquarters there. Campaign headquarters. Special interest. Let's do a speechwriter. So we can give some good speeches. And Louisiana has got eight electoral votes. Missouri was another big one with 10. That's a nice swing state. All right, we'll try to take that one. I'm going to try to take Missouri. Special interest. Let's get the National Gun Owners Association. Bang! That turns a lot of people in our direction, into our camp. Should be back on top with the Electoral College, big time. And let's give a speech out here in Missouri on... I favor reducing unemployment. That looks like a popular speech. 3% swing. Gives us 50% of the vote in Cal in Missouri. Let's see if I can go for Illinois. That's kind of close. Build an HQ here. Campaign headquarters. Special interest, hire an operative, and we'll get the PR consultant to improve the media bias and become more effective on interviews. We're looking good. Swing into Wisconsin. That's kind of even. We just broke it. And let's wait till next turn. Opportunity in Montana. Storyteller. Very good. Doubles your charisma rating in targeted state. That's really good. I want to put her in Pennsylvania. 20 electoral votes. See if I can swing Pennsylvania. Time to give a speech out there. we got a headquarters, so we should have an idea of what they favor. 43% Democrat. 38% Republican. Reducing unemployment. Deficit reduction. You know what I could do? I could do a negative campaign. Opponent opposes deficit reduction. Nice four-point swing in Pennsylvania. Nice speech. Yeah, I think Reagan went after people. I think he called people out. I don't have a problem calling people out with Reagan. That will work out well. Close in West Virginia. I 
need more money. Let's go to Texas. And we're almost there on an endorsement. Another interview. Decent fundraiser. Fifty percent of the vote in Texas. Looks like we got Texas. North Carolina. Virginia. Kentucky. And we're close in Tennessee. Let's do another interview. And see what happens. Cold Cut Report Repertoire. <laughs> this show is a satire of other news programs, particularly the O'Malley Scenario. It follows the extremely popular satire news show, The Daily News, with host Stuart Johnson. Very funny, very clever. Uh, don't let the comedy fool you. The host, Cold Cut, knows his stuff. This is like Stephen Colbert. Here we go. Okay. I could do four years standing on my head. Where's the old wolf? Uh, I, for one, have a gay friend, but for some reason he wants to get married. I don't understand that since I just assumed he was gay, so he could get out of all the nagging, but he wanted me to ask how you stand on the issue. Alright, Reagan is a traditionalist, so for him, marriage is between a man and a woman. There we go. Well, Reagan was a traditionalist. We hear a lot of crybabies complaining about the price of health insurance. Now Obamacare will solve all our problems. I see it as one more step towards Canadian-style communist regime. Oof. Reagan does not like communism. I support health care reform. There is nothing wrong with the old system. That's not popular. Okay. Polls rides after appearance on Cold Cut Repertoire. Endorsements, National Foreign Policy Committee. Wait. I'll wait. I'm going to wait till she gets her endorsements. And then this will be the reaction. I could hire an operative. Fashion consultant. It's going to be time to start camp, uh, putting some advertising in. So let's go to California and do some fundraising. And how's Pennsylvania looking? We are winning Pennsylvania and Ohio. She's just kind of sitting up in Alaska. Let's try to take Illinois. All right, the campaign continues to move forward as candidates choose their running mates. Ooh, there's an endorsement. Who do I want to choose? Abraham Lincoln? That's a little... That's not fair. Um, let's see. Texas. I got Texas. I got California. Paul Ryan is Wisconsin. I don't think I need Wisconsin as much. I like that he's in Pennsylvania, but it looks like I'm winning Pennsylvania. Marco Rubio's in Florida, but I think I got Florida. Herman Cain is from Georgia. Mitt Romney is from Massachusetts. Newt Gingrich is from Georgia. I think I like Michelle Bachman, actually. She, um... would definitely get along with Reagan. And she's in Minnesota. This might help me swing Minnesota. Oh boy. It's my endorsement. National Foreign Policy Committee. That's big. And it looks like Minnesota is moving in our favor. Beautiful. Who did she pick? She picked John F. Kennedy. Oh man. That's a tough one. They're going to sweep in the Northeast. But Pennsylvania. Is still mine. A special interest. Let's hire a spin doctor and drop him in Pennsylvania. 
Oh, you know what? I need to start uh, advertising. Let's create an ad here. Fast and Furious Inquiry. Christian Nation. You know what? I need to upgrade this. I need to find... More issues. Okay, well, we picked up running mates, so this is where I usually end uh, part one of these series. Thank you for watching. Um, so far, I am winning in the popular vote and in the electoral vote. And Clinton has not been very active, but very dominant in the Northeast. I'm going to try to hold hold the line here in Pennsylvania. i got a spin doctor and a storyteller in my favor, and i got a big outreach center here. So hopefully that will hold the line. I just acquired another political operative in Ohio. And Ohio's looking good too. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.